Hi everyone and welcome to Eagle Creek Railroad. I just want to take a minute or two to wish everyone a really happy Christmas. Um, I hope we've spent some awesome time with friends and family. We've all eaten too much and drunk too much. And um, also to spare a thought for those of us that maybe haven't. Um, I know what it's like to spend Christmas by yourself. But I was fortunate enough this year to spend some time with um, someone I really care about. So yeah, it's been brilliant. Obviously the children are here as well. They came along yesterday and um, yeah, they've stayed with me overnight, but um, I'm back at work tomorrow. So yeah, I just uh, enjoy every minute, you know, and really, I think the message of Christmas gets lost a little bit, um, but it's important just to remember those that aren't as fortunate or maybe those that we don't see as often as we'd like to. So anyway, in this video, I'm going to be fitting the lighting kits to these two um, Carto bi-level coaches. Um, they're the same type of coach as the uh, three or four I've already got, but these are becoming really hard to find. So I had to buy some unlighted ones that I found and buy a couple of lighting kits to go with them. So I'm just going to run through it. It's quite a straightforward process. It's um, to be fair, Kato made it really, really straightforward. So I'll run through one of them now quickly and um, yeah, we go from there. Okay, so first of all, we just have a look inside the box to see what we get. So the Kato part number on these is 11-211, and these are the DCC friendly ones. And these are the ones that come um, pre-installed in the factory fitted lighted versions. There's a little bit of info on the back there, not an awful lot. Most of it is Japanese, but there's a little bit of info regarding the voltage. Um, yeah, that's about it really, there's not an awful lot on there. Obviously there are different part numbers for different kits, but these are the main ones where um, you know, they fit near enough everything. So that's the packet, and this is what we get inside. So you've got a couple of pickup tabs there. You've got the LED module, and it appears to be a diffuser, and obviously the uh, main sort of light diffusing plastic. Okay, so let's have a look inside. So obviously you've got an instruction leaflet here. Well, there's quite, awful, there's quite a lot going on there. Um, it's quite comprehensive. It does tell you well, various bits and pieces really. So if you want the light in to be indirect, direct, um, the parts you can expect to find in the bag tells you what color the light is with the color filter without the color filter so with the color filter you end up with a white light and without the color filter you end up with an orange light maximum voltage is mentioned there shows you how to fit the PCB into the holder how to apply the color filter how to reassemble the unit afterwards and it even shows you how to take apart the coaches and there's obviously different rules and different uh, instructions for different models. So it's important before you do anything, have a good read of the instructions. They are very, very good. That's basically what we are going for there. Um, the lighting unit at one end with the diffuser then running across the top. That's all there. So that's really good, really comprehensive set of instructions, which is always good to see. And then parts wise, so we've got the actual diffuser. You can see the white stripe along the middle diffuses the light. So the LED would be at this end, the thin end, and it'll transfer the light across to the far end and then open it out then. So you get a better spread of light. So that's that. There's a couple of pickup strips. They're just copper, copper pickup strips there. So here we've got the actual LED in the in the holder. You can see the contact pins just there. Two silver pins. Then you've got the LED. And then this is the filter. So that would obviously sit across the front of there. I think you've got to disassemble this bit to fit this though. But I don't, 
if the LED is a pure white LED, I don't actually think you'd need this. If you want the actual pure white sort of modern style LED lighting, I think you only need to fit this if you want the older style fluorescent lighting. So that'll be interesting to see. You know, I'm going to try it. Obviously, I want mine to be the modern version, and it does say to fit this. But I'm going to try it without it first because I don't actually think you need it. I can't understand why you'd want to filter the light through an orange lens if you wanted the clear light. So that'll be interesting. I'm definitely going to try it without the filter first. Okay, so let's open up the coach and see where we are. These are really easy to open up. You've literally just got to pull the sides apart a little bit like that and just gently pull the coach. Just like that. That's all it is. Really straightforward. So there's the internal. You can see there's a small arrow there. Okay. And that corresponds to the arrow. I don't know if you can see it just there. So that's for the direction. So that's the way the lid goes back on. Very straightforward. You can see the actual trucks have already got the pickup strips inserted. And there's also, you can just see the copper tab there poking up, ready to accept the new copper pickup strips for the light in. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is install the new pickup strips. There's only one way these will go, okay? There's only one way these will fit, and these just literally slot in there. There's a little bit of resistance, just where it pushes over the top of that pin there, okay? And all you do is slide them all the way in, like that. And that is it. That is the pickup strip is in. You can just see it skirting across there. Okay, and all I do then is get my trusty cocktail stick and just push it all the way home. There. That now is all the way in. Just like that. I'm going to do exactly the same with the other one. Again, located on the side. Little bit of resistance initially. And just literally push it all the way home. Trusty cocktail stick. And there you have it. That's the pickups installed. That's what they look like. So you can see now the tops. You can just see the strip just in there, look. And then the top of the pickup coming off the wheels will contact those strips. And that is that. That's the pickups installed. Okay, next job is to fit the LED module. As you can see, previously installed pickups are there. And it's just a matter of taking the LED module. You can see you've got a little slot in the bottom there, which corresponds to that little slot just at the bottom there. And all you do is literally slide it down behind the pickups making sure that the pickups are contacting the two legs of the LED and just push it home. And that is it, that is fitted. You can see the backs of the tabs there, contacting the legs there, just like that. And it locates then, it's difficult to see, but oh, you can see it better there. You can see the little gap there, locating on the base of the plastic with the seats, just there. And that is that. Just make sure it's all lined up. That tab just needs a little bit of fettling just to push it in a bit. There we are, that's better. And that is that. So like I said, I've left this orange filter off because I can't understand why the instructions are asking you to fit this if you want the pure bright LED lamp light, as opposed to the old sort of uh, fluorescent lamp light. If the, if the LED is bright white, which I believe it to be, and I can't understand why you need it, so I'm gonna try it without it first. So here's the diffuser. There's only one way this will fit. You can see it's ridged on one side and not on the other. And just on here, you can see you've got a couple of little locating slots there. So there is only one way this will fit, and that is with the bridge at the top and the wide um, white color at the end. 
And then it's literally just a case of slotting it in. There. That is it. You can see the tabs are located either side. And that is it. That is fitted. So you can see the LED will shine. It'll, the light will travel through the diffuser line. And it'll light up the whole of the coach. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to move across the layout. We'll power it up and um, we'll see how it looks. I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, well, welcome to the layout. Um, I got them on the track. So all we need to do now is apply my track power. And there we go. You can see you've got a really nice crisp white light. Um, just in the background there, you can see the other carriages with the green tint to them. But that green tint comes from the actual coach itself. So I'm happy that uh, the lighting's working. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. So what I will do now, pop the power off. I'm going to... Put the coach cover on and we'll see how the lighting looks. Okay, so I've put uh, the two halves back together. I made sure that I got the arrows pointed the same way before I clipped them together. So I made sure that they were the right way around. So all I'm going to do now is reapply the track power. And there you go. And you can immediately see that the colour of this one is exactly the same as the colour on the other ones. So I was right not to fit that orange lens. Um, in the instructions, it does say to fit it, but I couldn't get that right in my head for some reason, because applying an orange filter to a white LED would um, you know, would just give you an orange tinted light. So I'm really happy with that, because they are exactly the same. I, you know, you can see that right in front of you. So I think I made the right decision there. Um, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put the lighting kit in the other coach, and then I'll put the coaches in the rake and we just have a quick running session to see what um, a rake of five which is what i'm going for will look like so we'll catch you in a minute okay so there you can see i've got a full rake of five coaches all looking really good i'm really quite impressed with that i think it uh, i think it works pretty well the light distribution etc i think it looks really really good so i'll just give it a quick run on the track now get a couple of running shots and um, i'll come back to you in a minute Okay, well, there you have it. Um, I'm really happy with those. I think they look really good. And the color is exactly the same as the factory pre-installed ones. Incidentally, I have just had a look inside um, the factory fitted lighted coaches and the orange diffuser is actually fitted. Now, I can't for the life of me understand how that is a thing, but clearly it is. Whether they're using an LED with a slightly different color temperature, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I can't see how the orange filter is going to make any difference. They look identical to me, so I'm happy with those. 
anyway thanks all for watching i really do appreciate it um like i said earlier i hope you had a really really good christmas and i wish you all a very prosperous 2023 hopefully i'll be back before then but um just in case i'm not because i'm back in work tomorrow and i've got a few other bits and pieces on the go um stay safe keep well and i will catch you on the next one cheers all.